and this is what I cooked myself uh. yesterday. That is um, one kilogram of rice and a lot of vegetables. I think this is going to get me through the week. So today it is um, pretty cloudy actually <laughs> and also not that hot, only 30 degrees Celsius or so. Um, which feels uh, even cooler with the dry air. This week will still be, uh, it will be the last week before class start, uh, which means some more orientation and welcome things and a little more organizing stuff. So right now I'm on my way to pick up my key for my office. A little reflection on the first week that I had here in Tucson. Um, it is really quite hot. But it's not not inhumane hot the streets are very broad it is dirty everywhere on the streets not really dirty but um, dusty and uh, gravelly like here uh, since it rained like in the last um, weeks there is quite a lot of green here still there's a lot of desert surface here the thing that I miss the most from home is probably um, the forest um, where everything is green and smells nice and here everything is open and brown grayish and hot <laughs> yeah but so far I can't really complain it's just incredible that this will be my home for the next five years but yeah things will change This is a mite, I think. The white stuff. As you can see, they have a really dark red um, color when you squish them. And this is the color of the food coloring E310, I think. Again, what learned? I have to say I'm a little sad that I'm not an undergrad anymore, so this is all kind of none of my business. Because as a graduate student you don't really party anymore, you're just more you're more likely to work than to to have the student life. They got everything in there, except for a towel, which I also needed. So they all got their own um, branding going on. So not only is everybody, basically everybody running around with a t-shirt or a cap or so of the U of A, um, but also, you know, the, the sports teams, they are much more appreciated. We have a huge uh, stadium for the football team. Oh gosh, those cigarros. And of course there's also this great school pride there um, that I don't really know from home. And it's not only about the people who study here or who are, who are affiliated with the university are proud of the university and of themselves, but more it's the whole city. You know, the university is something that uh, the citizens of the city can be proud of. Anyway, yeah, so this is also one of the major things that I was looking forward to. You know, seeing it in the, in the college movies and all that stuff. Yeah, it, it kind of is really like that. It's a whole different feel. Wanna know what's inside that pillow? Well... It's kind of a life hack. My dirty laundry. So when that gets cleaned, um, I'm gonna have to look for a pillow, like an actual pillow. 
These mosquitoes though are so annoying. But anyway, today I learned that uh, the highest concentration of mosquitoes is in the Arctic, so I guess I can be glad that I'm not living there. It's 7.30 in the morning or so and I do need to get up earlier often because it's so beautiful. The weather is perfect, the sun's not burning. Hello. Mission accomplished. Kind of a waste of water, um, considering that we are in the desert. So yesterday I opened a bank account and I ordered a SIM card. Um, today the orientation was nothing special. Tomorrow there will be another orientation event, also with breakfast, which is awesome. And we also get a lunch card today. As of last week for the orientation um, with nine dollars so gonna take that <clears throat> now I'm on my way to getting a bike yeah while I'm here I can show you a mountain I don't mean any mountain but a mountain And I got myself a bike. So this is a really cool place. Uh, this is not a usual bike shop, but it's more of a bike garage where you can also buy um, bikes and parts of bikes. And so I, no thanks. <laughs> we had to re replace the tires and tubes and fix this and that. But I love the guy there helped me do all of this, so we kind of repaired this bike together uh, to make it run. Yeah, I only paid $80 for that. And usually it would be more than $150 or so. So now I also know um, what my bike is like and how to fix it potentially. Long train. Ah, it's amazing that freedom. Got myself a bike lock from the police department on campus here. That's what I call a bug. Welcome home. <clears throat> now that I got this shelf and some other stuff. I start to feel at home. By the way, yes, I got this cap, so more than a week after I set myself the challenge, I completed it. Better late than never. Yeah, what I was going to say is that I'm slowly feeling um, at home here in the city, like in this area and in, in the States. So I see certain things as normal that I didn't in the beginning, uh, like that there are all these signs in the four gardens of houses. Coming home to my small little room and being all on my own, that's a big step, I think, because I have been living with my parents for all of my life and now finally like doing everything for myself. It's pretty cool. I mean, you have to do more, but you also have the freedom of not doing it. <laughs> 
of doing the things whenever and however you want to. But at this position, thanks to mom and dad for always caring for me and doing the laundry for me. Since I've gone to a lot of offices, another thing that I noticed here in the US is that people in the offices are so much more friendly and welcoming. So when you open the door, you're like, hey, how are you? And stuff, and you feel like everybody in their offices loves their job and they are so happy to see you and that they can help you, which is. Yeah, which should be the case everywhere in the world, but I don't know why it happens here or it works here and not in other places of the world. I decided to make the vlogs a little shorter because this felt like a lot of daily vlogging sort of, um, but I know that I won't have the time during my courses, so from next week on to edit all of this. If you have any recommendations or comments or anything you would like to see improved or what you thought was bad or good, then please comment. This is the first time that I'm saying this, but I realized just yesterday that I really want feedback from you. You don't have to subscribe or like, but just comment. Thank you. I just cleared up uh, some things with my original documents from my home university, which the University of Arizona needs, and um, I took the I will take the opportunity to show you a little weird thing for me that is currently on the second floor. And magically, I'm outside <laughs> from the second floor. Yeah, it's a little weird. Correlated to that issue with the levels is how the houses are numbered here. This is something I found out only just recently um, in a YouTube video, is that the houses are numbered according to the blocks. And so this is actually not the, you know, 2,300th house, but it's on the block number 23 or so of that street. Um, so yeah, that also led to some confusion, especially in LA when there were just a lot of house numbers missing. Okay, I just came home from the last orientation that there will be, I think. Um, that was finally from my department. <clears throat> so, uh, seven new grad students were welcomed and given information. A whole uh, folder with a lot of good stuff. So, I had quite a lot of <laughs> um, information and orientation events in the last two weeks and they were professionally organized. Um, all the speakers were pretty professional. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna t turn off the AC. The speakers, they were pretty American, so they sold the university and whatever they were standing for pretty well. It was entertaining. Something that I learned is that Americans really love their acronyms. There's a plethora of different acronyms. Like every um, organization has their like three or four word name and it all gets shortened into an acronym so most of the time I don't know what people are talking about when they're just saying GPS, P, S, A, S, U, A and whatever. The rest of the weekend I will pretty much edit a lot and think about my first um, steps and research that I will have to do in the next semester. Anyway, that's it for now. Until tomorrow. Good day.